Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation uh, with a uh, video which is essentially a, the illustration of an online article we have in our blog, navigation blog, about how to load weather maps into an eChart program. And this, for example, is an eChart program. This is the OpenCPN uh, program, but the the process that we're doing here will actually load these weather maps into any eChart program. Um, but so here with an eChart program, see so you can read the location of the cursor. If you want, you could make routes, uh, uh, routes to various uh, thing, measure range and distance, range and bearing, and uh, and so on. So there's a lot we can do with weather maps, which we'll show later on. Um, which we'll show later on once we get the maps in here. So then that is that. And here, for example, is a weather map. And the one that we have the article about, we have several of these set up already, but we'll make eventually all of them. But for now, we have done a couple. Uh, we have this surface analysis done. I'll show that in the next video. But here we have the uh, this weather map here of the it's a 24-hour surface analysis from the National Weather Service so our job is to get that into that eChart program and the procedure for doing it how to load you no know, weather maps here is in our blog post which you can get to from our home page or um, it's easy to find online so this is the basically the video now is an illustration of exactly what's said here so here's where you uh, get the links to do things and here's the here's the key header that you need and we have another video following this one it says how to make these headers if you care to or you can just take the ones we're going to provide to you so we start out oh i should first mention this is basically a pc operation the uh, utility, the tool we're going to use uh, right here, this image cap program, is a PC program. But I'm, in fact, doing this on a Mac myself right now using uh, VMware Fusion. Uh, there's a lot of virtues having Fusion on a Mac. If you're a Mac person and a Marine, uh, don't want to do Marine navigation, there's a lot of virtue in having a um, Fusion running. I'm going to illustrate that now, for example. Okay, so we start out, we need this program here. This is a small program, 3 megabytes. So first of all, I'm going to download that. So I click that link, and here's the program we want. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to download it. Save file. Now I'm doing this all from scratch, so you can see the whole process beginning to end. So I've just downloaded that. So I should be able to uh, show in Finder. So I've just downloaded that. So there's the file we need right now. I put it on my Mac. I'm going to copy it now. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go put it into a PC. Uh, where's a PC? Here, here is a Windows 10. Here's a copy of Windows 10. And as recommended in the article, we, we're going to make a folder here. Um, just to keep things tidy. So I'm going to make a folder called image cap, Im image cap like that. And now I'm going to put that, open that. Am I going to open that or not? Maybe I'm going to open that. Did it go away? Oh, it went away. Okay. So I'm going to open that and then paste that file. Okay, so that's step one. I needed that file. Now I need to get the map in there. So I'll go back and get the map, which was here. And here's the map we looked at just a while ago. I'm going to right-click, Save Image As. And uh, it's a GIF. It comes down as a GIF. It looks like it's going into the downloads, which is the right place. That's okay. So I've just saved that as a into the downloads. So I'm going to go here now. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the map. View, show in the finder. So there it is. So I'm going to now copy that map. Copy, 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 copy that. And I'm going to go back to the PC. Back to the PC, which was, uh, oh, it's maybe right. No. Okay, it's here. And I'm going to go in the same folder and paste that map. So I've got that map there. Now, what we learned from that article is that we can't use a GIF. We have to make a ping. 
PNG. So I'm going to open that with, and then you can just do this with Paint, which comes with every one of these programs. So here is now the pro that map opened in Paint. Now I'm going to do File, Save As, and I want to put it as a PNG. And I want to put it in that folder there. Save. Okay, so that step should be done. And now we have both a GIF and a ping. It's about the same size, it turns out. I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to delete it. And then, uh, that's a 24-hour surface forecast. Now what do I need? Okay, now I need, I go back to the article, which is telling me um, what I need to do. It tells, if you read this article, it says you need this file here. You need this to make this into a file. So you're just going to capture that and copy it. Now I'm going back to the PC and I got to open a notepad. Notepad, here is a notepad. File, paste. Now I want to save this file, save as, and I want to call it, well for now it doesn't matter, I'm just going to call it, well I'll call it 24H editor. Dot cap, K A P. Okay, save. That's done. Let's see if it did that right. Oh, no, it didn't. Look, it added a text there. So I want to go in here and get rid of that text. Okay, good. That's good. Yeah. So now I got, let me just double check that that works. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, actually, let me just for the sake of it, I want to open, open with, I want to open that with Notepad. Okay, so that's opened in Notepad. That looks fine. All right, so then uh, now we're, uh, we're okay. So I'm going to keep this up here because I'm going to need to know these file names. Now the next step, and you read this from the instructions in that article, I'm going to go here to this and run a command line. So that's just CMD will get that, and there's the command prompt. And again, this is all in the instructions. Now I'm in the root here. I need to change directory to the desktop. Uh, and then I need to, from the desktop, I need to change directory CD to get into IMG image, uh, image cap. So now I'm there. And uh, so that's where all the files are. If I did DIR, for example, you would see there's the files. Oh, that's, by the way, another way to look at the files. Okay, so now I just run the command. And you do IMGKAP, that's the program. And now first you put in the header, 24H underscore H E A D E R dot K A P. Then you put the, oh, that's not quite right. Actually, I should have read the instructions. I think you put the file name, you put the file first. And the file is called uh, P underscore. 24hrsfc.png. It'll certainly tell me if I've typed anything wrong. And now you put the header, file 24, uh, 24h underscore header dot kap. And then we put what we want. We can put anything here because it's going to be what the output cap file is. I'm going to just call it 24H. Um, I actually didn't know what the date was, but it's probably tomorrow. And I'll put a valid, well, you would put the valid time. Let's say it's 12Z, uh, January 25th, dot KAP. So that's now, this is going to be the name of the file that goes into there. Now, if I did everything right, Bang. Okay, so that looks like I typed the numbers right. And so here's the here's now the map. It's about a it's a file 307 kilobytes, and that's the map. So I'm going to right click and copy that. Now I'm going to go back to the Mac. You could view this on a Mac or a PC. And now I'm going here. Let me. Th I've been keeping my charts in a folder called Charts. Wait a minute. Hang on. I'm in the Downloads. Oops, backwards. Let me go up here and find chart. I'm just going to make a folder. Okay, there's charts. Okay, and I'll just make a new folder here and call it weather maps. 
Okay, good. Now there's weather maps, and I'm going to paste that item. So I've got that in there now. So I'm ready to go. So now I go back to the eChart program. This is, and each eChart program is going to have a different way you load maps, but this one, Open CPN, does it this way. You click that branch, then you click Charts, and that's the charts I, wa I, wa I was looking at. Now I'm going to add a directory, a weather maps, and I don't go to the file with this one. You just go to the directory, and then you say OK. So that directory is in there, and if I want to get rid of these so it doesn't clutter up the background, you could remove it. doesn't matter. Now you have to rebuild that so it knows it's there. Whoops, wow, it came in big. So now, there you go. So now I have a weather map that's in here, and you see my cursor. Now, if, if we made that thing right, this ought to be, what is it? See, that's 50. Wait a minute, is that exactly right? 130 and 50. You know, in other words, it's geo-referenced, this point down here. Let me see. Oh, again, remember we say with these charts, you should really use a... I'm using a magic mouse, not magic at all when it comes to this stuff. But anyway, you see it's geo-referenced. And once it's geo-referenced, we can measure like the distance between here and here if we want to, or, you know, and things like that. So that's it. That's the process. And we have a couple more videos later on to illustrate some more details about this. And in particular, the most important one, what do you do once you've got this in there? So that's the end of this one.